Have you found the encrypted holodisks yet? I won't be able to get a hold of my contact from the palace without it. I doubt that Mikkel is smart enough to realize how valuable those disks are. So it doesn't need to be done immediately, but the sooner the better. Stay out of trouble. Have you found the encrypted holodisks yet? I won't. I doubt that the Kel is. Stay out of trouble. What's going on over here? Okay, okay. We'll see. Have you found the encrypted holodisks yet? I won't be able to get a hold of my contact from the palace without it. I doubt that the Kel...
I told you before, Offworlder, the sky ramp is restricted to mili- You're back to visit. I've heard the news. Here are the credits we talked about. There's twice as much waiting for you if you... Captain, you're back. Please tell me you have an open starport visa. Thank the Four Moons for your kindness, Offworlder. I only wish I had some way to thank you, but my children and I will never forget your kindness. Hurry, children. We get to go on a spaceship, thanks to the captain. We get to- You're still unread- Let's hurry this up. I want him escorted out of here quickly. This is outrageous. I'm not a spy. I'm a journalist for Isis Calm. You're a Republic spy, and your propaganda will be silenced. We are taking you back to our barracks for interrogation. But, well, you can't be serious. You accuse me of propaganda? I have proof that Vaklu is withholding information on the so-called Republic. One more word of treason out of you. What are you looking at? This is none of your business. Please, ma'am, help me. Vaklu's troops won't listen. I'm just a journalist, not a spy. This spy has been using his position as a journalist to spread lies and dissent among our people. No doubt he's been up to other treasonous activity as well. But that's just crazy. I was a member of the Resistance. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars. Yes, and your disloyalty now deeply sick. A warrant? General Vaku passed an edict giving the military broad authority to detain and question anyone suspected of treasonous activity. It was specifically meant for us to pick up spies like this before they could leave Isis or go underground. That is classified military information. I don't have time to answer your barbed questions off-worlder. Men, let him go. We'll be back with a court order. Then we'll take him to the barracks. And you, you should watch yourself. You don't want to be known for siding with people like him. I don't know how to thank you. I'm getting out of Isis now. Eventually they'll come back for me. After that, I have a feeling no one will hear from me again. Thank you.
Now, what do you want? What do you want here, Offworlder? The room is taken. The whole cantina is taken. You should leave. You? And just how do you intend to do that? Those words will be your last. Do you have a visa yet? I'm still paying. I had faith you'd get hold of one. I've always been good at spotting talent. I've got big plans for it. Haven't we covered this yet? I'm not going to tell you. It's not legal. And you don't want to get involved. So what do you want for it? A weapon? Money? Here you go. If you aren't satisfied with it, just let me know.
haven't found the encrypted holodisks yet. I won't be able to get... Great, go in there. With these, I'll check my contacts at the palace. I should be able to get a meeting with your Jedi Master shortly. You got anything you need to take care of in the quarter, you best do it now. You're dealing with serious politics by contacting them. If things go bad during a meeting, you may not be welcome at ISIS anymore. Perhaps never. Just let me know if you want to go through with this. Come back when you're ready. So you're still in, like I was saying. Come back when you're ready. So you still intend to... Like I was saying, though, once I use my contact... Yeah, yeah, I'll get on it. Just grab a cot and rest a bit. Once I get a meeting time, I'll let you know. Is this meeting a trap? I can't afford to lose you, especially given recent events. Anything could be a trap. Vaklu is no fool. But if the message is true... Is this necessary? I can guarantee your safety in the palace, but outside these walls, the General has many men that would do anything for him. Nothing in life is certain, Your Majesty. But I feel... something. There is a disruption in the Force. I must investigate this. Very well. But please, be cautious. Aren't I always? That's what I was afraid you'd say. Well, the meeting is on. Head straight to the cantina. You guys should be in there. And uh, no offense, but I hope I never see you again. You must have gone through a lot to arrange this meeting. The palace is a full battle readiness. Smuggling in a message is no small task. Kavar. Jedi Guardian. The Mandalorians counted on the fact it would be you, not Revan, who would lead the Jedi against us during the Mandalorian Wars. I wonder how we'd have fared against you. I thought you were killed fighting Malak during the Jedi Civil War. It seems my former student keeps curious company. Strange times lead to strange alliances, though. No, I survived the war, if only just. Why are you here? I imagine that you hold little love for any on the Jedi Council anymore. Even an old friend. I'm not sure how well placed your faith is. I feared you would harbor dark feelings because of our treatment of you. You have to understand that it was a time of great uncertainty. We just learned that Darth Revan was back with an armada. Every Jedi that went with him was lost, corrupted, and as dark as their master. And then there was you. Many thought you were a spy. There's more to it than that, and I think you deserve an expert. Am I interrupting? In orbit, I thought for sure that the Ebon Hawk was mine. I was certain, only to see you slip through my fingers during the battle. Imagine my delight to discover you were on Isis. Quite careless, if you ask me. 
Get them, men, and watch your aim. Civilian casualties cause a mess of paperwork. I must return to the palace. I'll get word to you when I'm able. Run! What? What have you done to my men? Blast! Men, take care of her! I won't let Kavar escape. This cantina is infested with life. A well-placed grenade could cleanse some of the dirty and insignificant souls here. Stop the fighting! Stop! Sergeant, take care of the witnesses. I'm sorry we had to do that. Appearances have to be maintained. And I'm afraid we don't have much time. You've helped out General Vaclan, and he understands how to show gratitude. We have allies, terrible allies. They want you dead. However, the General believes you could ultimately be an even greater ally. But we have to maintain appearances. Do you understand? You helped Ander with something that has been a serious problem for us. The General believes you have already been a more faithful ally than our cannon. I assume you want to know more about our ally. There is little we know about him. Or her, even. It's a Sith Lord. No idea of the name. Frankly, we had no idea who we were dealing with at first. And by the time we did, it was too late. The General believes we can make a new alliance that will be in both of our interests. Vaklu wants to control all of Onderon, and perhaps more down the road. The Republic's time is nearly over, and strong men like him will rule the age to come. You have shown that you are strong too, and he feels it inevitable that you become a force to be reckoned with. We'd like to ask your assistance in dealing with our ally, the Sith Lord. We have much to offer in return. We would send you a message to your Mandalorian allies on the Ducks and Moon. We still need the Sith Lord to take care of a few things first. But after we've got what we need, then your assistance will be requested. Eventually, we will attack Queen Talia's palace. Isis is an ancient city filled with artifacts from our darker past. Some of those might be especially useful to you. Besides, the Sith Lord wants you dead, and an enemy of our enemy. For now, it's simple. We have to act like you're our enemy. When you leave this cantina, my men have orders to kill you. There is no way they could possibly stand up to you, but they don't know that. Leave Isis, and don't come back until we send a message for you. If the payment I've offered you is insufficient, I assure you General Vaklu himself can offer you a satisfactory deal. You must make a choice. Will you support us or the Queen? Vaklu is a political animal, but he has never backed out of a deal. The Sith must have changed their arrangements substantially for him to consider betraying them. You can trust his offer. He's far more capable than Queen Talia is. I think allying with him is the best course. Credibility is important in Onderon politics. If he betrayed you and betrayed the Sith, his reign would be a short one. Excellent. You won't regret this decision. We will contact you. 
Like I told you, the men outside will try to kill you. We will talk later. What? What's happening in the West Square? It sounded like battle. Command's ordered comm blackout. Do you know what's going on? I see. But I could have sworn I heard something in the West Square. Uh, oh. Carry on, citizen. Trouble seems to follow you. I told you before. I told you before.
You know what to do. Let's do it! Get her! Diagnostic is doing something strange. Target acquired? What the hell does that mean? This has been scanned. You're cleared to leave. I'd leave right away. Things are going crazy in this quarter. The shuttle is just ahead. I think we should get out of here fast. It's gonna be some time before they forget about us here. No more trips to ISIS for us until the situation changes. A lot. back. The shuttle is going to stay docked here until further notice. I'm not ready to part company yet. It sounds like you have a lot of traveling to do. So do I. I'm going with you. The Sith have taken a particular interest in you, and you could use an extra blaster. I've been meaning to leave Duxon to look for other Mandalorian clans anyway. I don't have it in me. It's a matter of self-interest. The Sith aren't known for sharing power. If the Jedi Order is destroyed for good, it's inevitable that the Sith will dominate the Republic. And then my people will be eradicated or enslaved. Helping your cause is a matter of necessity. Mandalorians helped Exar Kun during his war. We know firsthand how we fare in the service of their like. But that's enough for now. We'll have time to talk later. The Ebonhawk is patched up and ready to go. When you're ready to depart, we can ask the guide here to take us back to the ship. Ah, you are here. You felt it, did you not? The time to hide your presence is coming to a close and you will need to increase your training. 
You are ready. Your training must increase, and there are higher mysteries you must learn. But only you must know the path you will take. I cannot choose it for you. Is it battle that stirs you? To meet an enemy blade upon blade? Such is the way of the greatest of Jedi warriors, the Weapon Masters. Or perhaps it is investigating the mysteries of the galaxy, seeking out injustice and harm, and bringing it into the light. Such is the way of the Jedi Watchmen in the time of Ulik Keldroma and Exar Kun. Or perhaps your way lies upon the ancient mysteries, and to teach others the ways of the Force, as I have, the way of the Jedi Masters. It is not some great test you require to be what you strive to be. It is only your decision to find that path that matters. From here on, you guide your destiny. But in order to take the next steps, you must face your past and put it to rest. You have befriended. Her species does not see as we do. They perceive the galaxy through the Force, and it is how she found you. It is a rare gift squandered on her people. The Sith carry the battle to you, and you spare them. And as we travel, the empty places of this ship are filled. I hope your thoughts in this matter are clear. If you take her on as a servant, know that the Sith meet their end at the hands of their apprentices. It is not something I would wish to happen to you. This one you have saved has other masters. Though blind, she has ties to darkness. Her presence here is a threat to us, to you. Do not underestimate her or her loyalty. Then you are learning. Did he? And what do you make of that? You are right to trust your instincts. Something is wrong. It is only a matter of discovering what and why. If your instincts lead you to an answer, seek me out. Perhaps we will discuss more. Ask. He, if he can truly be called a man any longer, is one of the dark lords that pursues you. I do not think he knows what you are. Not yet. He spared the Miraluka, and that may have been the last shred of feeling that exists within him. Keep his slave close to you. I suspect there was a reason he spared her, and perhaps a reason that she survived when the rest of her people and the Jedi did not. One cannot have power of that magnitude that her master possesses and still think and perceive the universe as we do, as most of us do. I had hoped that you would not have to confront him, but her presence here has changed all that. You will have to meet him in battle. You must be prepared to sacrifice the Blinded One. Perhaps her death will buy you the time you need to deal with her master. It is a technique that is almost as old as the Sith themselves. It is a means of severing connections between life, the Force, and feeding upon the death it causes. It cannot be taught. It can only be gained through instinct, through experiencing its effects firsthand. Yes, and he fed upon its destruction. It will sustain him for a time. Power, do you think so? You would be wrong. There is no strength in the hunger he possesses, and the will behind his power is a primal thing and it devours him as he devours others. His mere presence kills all around him, slowly feeding him. He is already dead. It is simply a question of how many he kills before he falls. Nothing is impossible with the Force. It is an energy that flows through all living things, and like energy, it may be harnessed, channeled, and consumed at times. It may even be a substance that can burn and ignite. Do not think of his power as one would a weapon, or one of your warships of the Republic. It is terrible, but it is still a subtle thing. The sect of assassins that chase you feed on the Force. What he does is simply the pinnacle of what they could achieve in time. 
And that is why they and their techniques must be wiped out. No one again must experience and learn what her master did. As much as one may use the force to bolster the wills and strengths of others, the reverse is possible, though not often used. Instead of sending one's will through connections in the force, instead such connections are drawn upon, fed upon, and drained completely. Then you understand how terrible such a power is, and why it must be ended. It is an empty road to the dark side, and by traveling it, the price is death before one's time. He is a breach in the Force, capable of consuming the lives of those around him. Sometimes the touch is slow, as it is with his crew. It is not something he can direct or focus, much like hunger itself. He is more of a hole in the Force than a living thing. Force sensitives and worlds rich in the Force draw him. The Miraluka world was one such place. That is why where the Jedi gather, Jedi will die. He will feel it, unless they mask their presence. But Qatar called out as a beacon to him, and he could not resist it. And he cares nothing for the Sith, or its teachings, or the Jedi. And when the Jedi are dead, he will feed on the galaxy, the Republic, and eventually consume the Sith as well. There is no future in the empty galaxy he sees, and that is why he must be stopped. The breach must be sealed before his power grows beyond what even we can hope to stop. Perhaps he is bound to her, as I am bound to you. If so, there may be a death served by hers. You must be prepared to sacrifice the blinded one. Perhaps her death. Ask and... Does it matter? Of course it does. Such titles allow you to break the galaxy into light and dark, categorize it. Perhaps I am neither, and I hold both as what they are, pieces of a whole. Know that I am your teacher, and that is enough. Or what? Shall you kill me? Hurt me? Is that the way of a je- Ask, and I- I know her as much as I ask, and I will. And? Ask, and I will. My life for yours. I. I serve my master. My master was aware. There is little my master. You cannot. His vessel roam even if I could. If I bring you before my master, untested, without your potential realized, then you will be lost to me. And I cannot allow that to happen. It would be as if one brought fire to a...
my life for you. After the ambush, Kelvin's been pushing to get the entire base 100% operational. So, I have... After the amb... So, I... My life. What do you want? You're still breathing. After the am, so I have Raylor is one of our mightiest warriors. Just to fight him is an honor.
After the ambush. So, I've... After the amp, so... After the ambush, Kelvin's been pushing to get the entire base 100% operational. So, I... Damn it. After the ambush, so... I hear you handled Isis adequately. Mandalore has left me in charge until he has finished his journey to reunite the clan. If there is any change planet side, I'll send you a message. Mandalore will gather the scattered clans. We will triumph. After the amble, so... After the ambush, so Damn it. Jungle is taking over everything. This place is a mess. You have fought more battles on Isis. You are truly formidable. I hear you have, if there is any change. Head out into the jungle. Mostly Canucks and How do you know of the Sakeg? We've seen signs along the pass. They are naturally armored and have foul dispositions. Mandalorian expeditions cleared them out of the area, but ducks on beasts never take kindly to losing territory. As soon as ship activity dies out around here. We may hunt them again.
even the brave. If you head out at even the brave. Yeah, what do you want? If you head out and... Let's go. None of the Sith escaped. They dared try to ambush us. I don't think even a Jedi... to your ship. Give the word and I'll take you there. Follow me.
So you fought against the Mandalorians in the war? I was part of the war effort, yes. I worked as a technician, though. But you fought on the front lines. To a Mandalorian, there is honor in that. I could do without your Mandalorian honor. I saw the results of your honor. The absolute destruction your warriors brought. And look at them now. Mandalorians are little better than mercenary thugs. And what's honor to someone like that? All they care about are credits. If I were you, I'd pick your words more carefully. I don't need compliments from a murderer. Maybe that's what it looked like to you, but that isn't why we fought. We fought for honor and glory in the heat of battle. You did nothing but murder innocents. The Republic took us too lightly. We wanted to face the full force of their army. We had to goad them to fight. That's exactly what I'm talking about. If you ask me, you Mandalorians just got what you deserved at Malakor. Defeat is part of a warrior's life. We will recover. Stronger than before. Doesn't it even bother you that your people were almost destroyed? Or do lives have no meaning to you? People die in war. Well, I'm glad to have you guarding my back. Fine by me. Yeah, what do you want? Yeah, what do you want? The Republic is a stagnant beast that had been killing its people for years before the wars began. Were it not for Revan's strength, the Republic would already be dead. Only Revan was worthy of our respect. Only then did... I'm sure there were... I'm not accusing you of being a coward. You commanded the Republic fleet that destroyed ours. You were a worthy opponent. Now was there something else you needed? Something up? All right. Here we are, the Smuggler's Moon. It's the gaping maw of Nal Hutta, swallowing all the cargo and spaceport thugs the galaxy has to offer. Mandalorians, mercenaries, war veterans, and pilots from the Mandalorian Wars and the Jedi Civil War ended up on Nar Shaddaa. 
from all sides of the conflict. When the last war ended, there was no place left for them to go. Too many Mandalorians were scattered after the war. Without purpose, without direction. Most became little more than raiders. Nar Shaddaa's a rough place and easy to get lost in. Or for someone to get lost. If we wanted to keep out of sight from the Sith for a while, you couldn't pick a better spot. It means glorious jewel in Hatis, but don't let that fool you. It's the central breeding grounds of the huts. Nar Shaddaa orbits it. Nal Hutta's as slimy as the huts. Lots of swamp and bloated gas. It's where those slugs reach out and grab chunks of the galaxy. Trust me, we're not gonna go anywhere near the place unless we want to be washing the stink out of our clothes for the next few years. Everyone who came to Nar Shaddaa were soldiers. A lot of worlds were destroyed by the Mandalorians and the Jedi. Left a lot of people wandering the galaxy. It means glory. Nal Hutta's as trust me. Yeah, some came looking for work running freight and cargo. Still, there's only so many ships to go around and so many workers. So others lend their weapons to the huts in the exchange. It's become a prime base for raider recruitment across the galaxy. It won't be easy. There's so much traffic on Nar Shaddaa. Finding anyone on the moon's surface is gonna be hard. We're gonna touch down in the refugee sector. There's a lot more traffic there, and it's harder for people to spot you coming in. Or find you once you arrive. You speak of this place as if it is familiar to you. Anyone flying the Star Lanes has docked on Nar Shaddaa at least once. I wouldn't want to live there, and I doubt anyone does by choice. Shouldn't be too hard. There's so much traffic on Nar Shaddaa, finding anyone on the moon's surface is gonna be hard. We're gonna touch down in the refugee sector. There's a lot more traffic there, and it's harder for people to spot you coming in, or find you once you arrive. You speak of this place as if it is familiar to you. Anyone flying the Star Lanes has docked on Nar Shaddaa at least once. I wouldn't want to live there, and I doubt anyone does by choice. We plotted a course for the refugee sector and we should touch down within the hour. Once we're down, we should finally be able to breathe easy. There's no way anyone's gonna find us here. Watch 
チョシムポエンドラカワイチレンドモモパラマカワナアバワシユクロレンホントのサカジタペワナマトキチュノカダミレニトレンフィロソニヘコチュパアランナモシムウンダサランスクレマスクムバトゥガラチャウイモジュブウンコソラチャボンマバベワントスシントゥムカラタトゥエスフェクトナタダベマバチョクトモリクエスト If Goto's vessel is no longer neutral ground, inform us so that we might initiate assassination protocols and commence firing at once. Kavadumpe Masuraku, Popayi, Botenya, Tachim Kichu no Kada Mirenito. Renfiloso, Nita Hupo Botenya go Jucho Picha, Gwen Taba ni Sochu. Observation. Jedi followed the self destructive path of pacifism and tolerance. They will not attack first. The very Nicha, Yonono Shikasa Truth. The very Nicha, Yonono Shikasa Truth. Goli Rosodish. Run the class mobas. Ah, the beautiful stench and decay of desperate living. This moon. It teems with life. It is difficult to center oneself. Never have I been to a place so alive with the Force, yet so dead to it. The contrast is like a blade. Word of warning, watch where you step, and you'll fall for hours. Sure, most of the landing pads around here are unclaimed. Or should be. They're pretty badly maintained, so they're not safe to land on. Well, I mean, not this one. But they all have the reputation, so we should be all right. I think. Maybe a little, but landing here means we didn't have to transmit our ID signature. You know what trouble that always brings. In fact, while we're here, we should get those signatures changed. Wouldn't make us such a target when we enter a new system. No, but I forgot to tell them we were landing. The refugee sector's a dead zone. No one cares too much who flies in and out of here as long as they're not carrying cargo that the Exchange or the Huts might want a piece of. Yeah, in all its glory. Don't get your hopes up from what you see here, though. As soon as we hit the main sector, that's when the smell and the mobs can get pretty bad. All right, then, let's move out. Uh, where are we headed exactly? It does not matter where we go. If what we seek is here, we shall come upon it in due time. Uh, yeah, if you want to stay on the ship and meditate some more, don't let us stop you. Finding a Jedi or anyone else touched by the Force here will be difficult. The mass of people. The rush of their emotions. It makes detection difficult. But this moon does not get any smaller while we wait. This sector is as good as any place to begin our search, so let us begin. Well, if we're gonna search a moon of a few billion inhabitants for one Jedi that even our own can't sense, might as well start as soon as possible. Alright, if you have any questions, just ask. We should be able to leave the ship here as long as we want. No one supervises these landing pads anymore. You! You there! Uh-oh. What's with you? Letting that piece of junk sink its thrust into my landing pad! Yeah? Well, this is the first I've heard of it. Huts don't do business down there. This is exchange territory. I got a ship that's supposed to dock on this pad any hour now. 
What am I gonna do? You can't keep us trapped in the refugee sector. We can't survive there. Y you've got us locked in. Thanks for your help. They would have crippled me for sure. Well, they work for the Exchange, for a Quarren named Visquis. He's looking to step up in the Exchange. The only language the Exchange respects is money, so Visquis is trying to increase his profits by using the refugees here in Nar Shadda as a cheap labor force. We're only good to him as slaves and merchandise. He wants to keep us in one place so he can control us. That's always been the way. Well, except lately. The exchange has been clamping down on the refugee sector hard, and I've no idea why. They've started kidnapping people, hurting others, but there seems to be no reason to it. <laughs> you don't. He comes to you. If he's got reason to. Either because you can help him out, or because you're making trouble. Either way, it's not a good thing. Whatever your reasons, thanks. I saw what you did to those exchange thug stranger. Can you spare a few credits, maybe help another refugee in need? Thank you, stranger. I won't forget your kindness. Why did you do such a thing? Such kindnesses will mean nothing. His path is set. Giving him what he has not earned is like pouring sand into his hands. And would that be a kindness? What if by surviving another day he brings a greater darkness upon another? The Force binds all things. The slightest push, the smallest touch, sends echoes throughout life. 
Even an act of kindness may have more severe repercussions than you know or can see. By giving him something he has not earned, perhaps all you have helped him become is a target. Seeing another elevated often brings the eyes of others who suffer. And perhaps in the end, all you have wrought is more pain. And that is my lesson to you. Be careful of charity and kindness, lest you do more harm with open hands than with a clenched fist. Use your power, but in its proper place. Grati u bati kompa dwa la muska. Kava dumpa mun. Bornaci nin so po marankau. Muli brawa i. Bornaci. Tiumpe. Ciret kuranga ta inkunta. Kava dumpa mun suru kupla liyawa. Bo bagaragawandai. Muli brawa. Malam pasta rawando krim. Juna yer toranga chi. Pane suka kran. Jok. Jun sobe me rap. No kuma randisa mak chiksa. Moga chi no ta harembe wana chi. Drum paba nakares magre. Da hupu botenya go yucho pitya. Wem taba ni sochu. No toga proto... Ta kan tu chis miku mogo graba? Ke chi chu ida hada. Kava dumpe ma suraku? Popa yi botenya? Ta che moroza gamsa. Javas go... Kava dumpe ma suraku? Popa yi botenya? Kavadumpe masuraku, popayi boteng. Suna ranga machotane, dota lutu. Donina chiwa, kota wind, borka no chawa. Kavadumpe masuraku, popayi bot. Kavadumpe masuraku, popayi botenya, tache morosa. Kavadumpe masuraku, popayi botenya, tache morosa gamsa. Javas ko bo sabjo. Dravi nuka soba mamarma. Dancha neg mamamba kanta mebalen. Misuko chani ra musa fan ro sota jus lama. Kawana bota atagwa kanka diwa. Yutaka alonji umali. Jawana masaranka ma ramazurata. Keso... Kavadumpe ma suraku, popa yi botenya, tache moroza gamsa. Javas kobo sabjo, michi so karve nukso. Kavadumpe ma suraku...
Please, look, I, I already paid the exchange what I have. <laughs> Here's the one with your credits. About time. Look, these gentlemen are getting impatient. about this they'll come back a dozen strong and tear you limb from limb uh, all right what'd you want to know Jedi master you crazy there aren't any more Jedi running around let alone masters but you're serious aren't you all right well look if I were a Jedi I'd be where I can help people as for where that happens on Nar Shada I have no idea The bounty hunters don't have any one place where they stick around. Best thing I can tell you is if you want to find one, get a bounty on your head and then wait. Jedi Master? But you're serious, aren't you? All right, well, look. If I were a Jedi, I'd be where I could help people. As for where that happens on Nar Shada, I have no idea. Are you serious? All right. I must be doing something right for you to come along and bail me out like you did. Such acts have their own strength about them. I had forgotten. It may seem that way, but perhaps it can become much more. I'm sorry, I did not mean to speak of it. Principles of sacrifice and charity. These are things I have not seen in some time. I'm afraid that it will weaken you for what comes. But I have said enough, and you do not need my counsel. Your actions should, as always, be your own. Thoughts are disturbed. I can feel them from a great distance, like a shiver running through you. It is Narshada, the true Narshada that you feel around you. 
It is this moon, with the metal and machines stripped away and the current of the force laid bare. I'm surprised you can feel it. I fear the damage to you had deadened you to such perceptions. What you feel is the echo of the minds of these creatures within the force. Their anger, their greed, their desperation. It is life. One might as well heal the universe, but such manipulation is possible, yes. It requires that one be able to feel the critical point within the fractured mass and know how to strike it in such a way that the echoes travel to your intended destination. Have you learned nothing? Healing is manipulation, and if you do not realize it yet, then you will discover that an act of healing depends largely on your perspective. Manipulation is done through propelling events, or selected ones, into motion. It is done through teaching, through example, and through conviction. And the greatest of victories are not manipulations at all, but simply awakening others to the truth of what you believe, of hearing it echoed around you in life. But let us be silent. Words and thoughts are distractions. Feel this moment for as long as it will last. To very nicha, your nona she cast a truth. Wanna do me by it? Torcha no banca ni honka. Torsen da we not to. To no tocha. Tocha rama kaka musu. So, you have the look of a seasoned spacer about you? What backwash are you looking for? Well, honestly, there's not much for people like you and I to do around here. If you, uh, catch my meaning. Well, our kind isn't exactly the majority on this planet. Well, there is plenty for them to do. The Pazak Den, Swoop Races, the Jek Jek Tar, they're pretty much taken care of. Now there's a place that's literally deadly for our kind. Jet Jet Tar is a bar filled with cyanogen gas. It's poisonous to you and I, but the aliens drink it up and pay good money to do so. The cyanogen gas also acts as a social buffer, since the people who typically f Yeah, the Pazak Den is a glorified social club for hardline Pazak players. It's exclusive, though, with a guard at the door and a password needed to simply get in. Don't know why you'd want to get into that place. Bunch of Firaxa sharks will strip you clean of your credits, especially the champ. He only shows up to play people he deems worthy enough. You'd just have to beat about everyone in that place before he'd even think of coming out of hiding. Ah, don't bother with Lupo's racing gallery. The track's deadly and the betting's awful. Borna Liss keeps threatening to take the place over and run it right. Well, I don't see how she could. Taracho mo sincho kava volpa muliji kumana minta barawamba miche kawana bota yuta tanga kunta chivita inka dovre kun mili wos. Kawana bota yuta tanga kinamatura. 
ta yaita, ta bosananansa ta, da upa, bosakurata, go jujutu yoki, hiata yam ta kometa, kaplaia justing, miki gongo beaste, un grabil ke chubo grayo bog no kada itapa, kavadumpa munsuru kuplaia wa. No, tinor crelun. Und ferento kring bano krok nik to vrekun mili wosa. Chone murlera. Ton kinge bano jansaka nikaraska. Tanja nik de mauimbo kranta mi pilan. To vrekun mili wosa slima. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Tayai. Unta chiwita inka ki kraya na chawanga kone. Tonino papin kone yaka. Chu papi cha. Tuna yuma mu. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Ta yaita, ta bosananansa ta. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Ta yaita, ta bosananansa ta. Mata grito kichimuliera. Kawana bota yuta tanga kinamatura. Ta yaita, ento mesh mi paju, watamincha, yokolo unto ato, nukula bira wa, tines un soto. Kavadumpa masura ku, popayi botenya, ta che morotha kamsa, javas kobo sabjo. Ricci so caro e noxo, moci to sa sa grande io. Nina Radocha, Kawana Dumpa Kankarebe. Chitaris Bakoki. Bogra Kim Kunchu Bagrat Wiki Lejani. Now Chitachi Ayubo Bogra Kim Kunchu Bagrat Wiki Lejani. Wichi Bola. Saka tunta shok Una turun kilatia Ta chom du chonga Bot malea le chona jichiska Dobra kinun chuba grap wiki le joni Wichi bola no Yoma wa mani boba, Lord a wish wanga shachi. Chichi skabula, tapi chayu bom. Yumbula, chichi skabula, tapi chayu bom. Watagri tuk. Dobra kinu chuba grapu ikili joni. Wichi bola no. Pati 
Kroto no ranga manatandi kroto mo piguna wana si chin si wano bot Kroto no ranga manatandi kroto mo piguna wana si chin si wano bosh nunch ka wana si chu rano pa manga kan mo pita wajo si mukto tanto todos tu karata mi ranga no roto dosi mana rachata. Kroto no ranga manatandi kroto mo piguna wana si chin si wano bosh. Kroto no ranga manatandi kroto mo piguna wana si chin si wano bosh. Greetings, I am B5D8. How may I assist you? is a warehouse privately owned by Voga the Hut. Your specific business-related inquiries will have to be directed to Voga himself. I am not authorized to disclose any information of that nature. However, I can say that this is an entirely droid-operated facility, and as such, we purchase droids for use here. We only purchase droids in larger amounts. If you have a droid you wish to sell, I would ask that you take it to Coded. Looks like the Jedi raised their standards. Hanhar. I thought I smelled something. I've told you before, hunt your own targets. Don't scavenge mine. <laughs> what, working for the hut suddenly made you stupider, Hanhar? You touch me, you'll break the truce. And then you won't last long enough to slip off this moon. Don't, Hanhar. 
I'm warning you. I don't want your life debt, Hanhar. I told you. Yeah, you're right. I'm afraid. I'm afraid if you keep crushing me, I'll accidentally set off my rocket charges and blow us both to Nao Hutta. I'd rather die than be caught by you again, Hanhar. Boska Dwana, Chichuba Muska Tichada, Gavadumba Munsuruku, Takometa, Playa Justing, Miki Gongo Beaste, Kawana Bota, Yun, Gavadumba Munsuruku, Playi, Montachiwita, Tonghite. Kawana bota yuta. Kavadumpa. A Jedi? Perhaps you are deserving of the title of Mandalore. I heard rumors from Isis about Mandalorian sightings on Duxon. So perhaps there is truth to what you say. Very well, Mandalore. My clan will follow you and make for Duxon, so that another clan might be added to the strength of your army. Excuse us. We must gather the rest of our clan and deliver them the news.
Ishunko, Jova Ninja Chimba. Ishunko, Jova Ninja Chimba. Ishunko, Jova Ninja Chimba. Taxi tre duju si juju pitie. Prim. We non sacrate roto da de jala wara kunza zoto. Chuba tone king chuba mi soko koche ti chike chusu mogotabra. Grave chusai kringi pitie hong doga. Sukrai masukun ratungala, me rontono junsara. Dosokachi, kawana abau. 